Hi hey everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet these mittens from the tips up to the cuff. So let's get started. I'm going to use Red Heart Super Saver yarn and a 5mm crochet hook. Start with chain 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Slip stitch to join and form a ring. Carrying this yarn end along the outside of the ring, chain one, make ten single crochet in the ring. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slip stitch to join in the top of the first single crochet. Now you can pull that yarn end and close up the end of the mittens. Chain one and turn, single crochet in each stitch around. And at the end of the row you will still have ten stitches. At the end of the row, slip stitch to join. Chain one and turn, single crochet in the next stitch, two single crochet in the next. So that's one single crochet, two single crochet, one, two. So work all the way around. At the end of the row, you'll have 15 stitches. Okay, I worked around at the end of the row, slip stitch to join. Chain one and turn, single crochet in each stitch around. At the end of the row, you will still have 15 stitches. Okay, I worked all the way around. At the end of the row, slip stitch to join. So that's the beginning of the tip of the mitten. Chain one and turn, single crochet in the next stitch. Two single crochet in the next one, two single crochet, two single crochet. So work all the way around. Okay, I finished that row and I slip stitch to join. Chain one and turn, single crochet in each stitch around, and now every row will be the same until the mitten is long enough that you reach the thumb area. So I'm going to go ahead off camera and finish working this single crochet in every stitch around at the end of the row, slip stitch to join, chain one and turn. I always turn so that my work will not take on a twisted look. Okay, I have worked up to my thumb and I'm going to show you how to make the opening for the thumb and continue to make the mittens. So I'm going to chain one and turn, chain seven, skip three stitches, and I'm going to single crochet in the next stitch, and then I'm going to test the hole, make sure it's big enough for my thumb, and it is. So I'm going to continue to single crochet all the way across the row. Okay, I single crochet all the way around. Now when I get to the thumb chain, I'm going to single crochet in each one of those stitches across the chain. Like that. So I'm going to single crochet all across the chain and I'm going to continue around. Okay, I've single crocheted all the way around. There's my thumb opening. And I'm going to slip stitch to join in that first stitch. And that's how that looks up to now. So now I'm just going to work around and around until I get to the wrist, which is probably about five rows. Okay, I've worked the top of the mitten, and now I'm going to work the wrist. Chain one 
and turn. And I'm going to work front and back post single crochet. So here's a front post. You go into this stitch from the front and then come back out and complete the single crochet. And the next stitch will be a back post. From the back come to the front and then go back and then complete your single crochet. So I'm going to work that way all across the row. And when you're doing this stitch, you go this is a stitch you work in the stitch directly that's not worked. Otherwise you'll be doing a decrease. So you want to be working in the stitch that was just worked to do the front and then do the back in that same stitch so that you do have the same number of stitches at the end of the row but they will be tighter. So come from here and into the front and finish and like this and like this front back front back front back front back front and the last one is back and slip stitch to join in the top of that first stitch I'm going to chain one and turn and then I'm just going to continue on the same as I was before making one single crochet in each stitch around and when the wrist is as long as I want it I will just fasten off so I'm going to go ahead and finish it and I'll come back and I'm going to show you how to do the thumb okay I've worked that far I'm just going to change to a double crochet So to do that I'm going to chain two and turn and then I'm going to double crochet in each stitch around. You can make these cuffs as long as you want. You could make them go up to the elbow for little children so that you could tuck their sleeves inside or you can make them short. I'm just going to make them short for today. The end of the row I'm going to slip stitch to join right here in the top of the first chain two. Okay I worked all the way around at the end of the row. I'm going to slip stitch to join and fasten off. And I'm going to show you how to do the thumb. I'm going to find the bottom of the thumb, pull the yarn through, to lock the stitch in by taking one chain with both the yarn end and the working yarn. And now just go ahead and work all the way around the opening for the thumb. And I've worked all the way around. I'm going to slip stitch to join over in the top of the first single crochet. And that's how the thumb starts look. I'm going to chain one and turn. I'm going to single crochet in each stitch around. And I'm going to continue that until the thumb is as long as I need it to be. Okay, I've worked all around. And it's time to start reducing for the end of the thumb. Now I'm just going to work in a spiral, so I'm going to chain one. Now I'm going to skip every second stitch. And I'm going to pull it a bit tightly to make sure I don't have a hole there. So skip, go into the next stitch, give it a little tug, and then complete the single crochet. So I'm going to skip every second stitch until the end of the thumb is closed up. And when it's closed up like that, I'm going to fasten off. And then with the yarn needle, I'll just sew that yarn end into the finished work. Sew this one into the finished work as well. And there you go. The mittens will be finished. So if you enjoyed learning how to make these easy crochet mittens, thanks for watching my videos. Bye for now.